Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to Imami Limited Q1F5 25 earning conference call hosted by IISL Securities Limited. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touch tone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Percy from IISL Securities Limited. Thank you and over to you, sir. Uh, hi, good evening everyone. Uh, uh, welcome to this uh, uh, Imami uh, conference call for q one fy 25 uh, I have on uh, the call with me uh, Mr. Mohan Goenka, whole time director and vice chairman, Mr. Vivek D, CEO of International Business, Mr. Gulraj Bhatia, President Healthcare Division, Mr. Manish Gupta, President Sales, and Mr. Rajesh Sharma, President Finance and IR. Uh, I'll hand over the call to Mr. Mohan Goenka for his uh, initial uh, comments, and then we'll open up for QA. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Kursi. Very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for joining us today. It's a pleasure to have you with us as we reflect on the performance of the past quarter. As we celebrate 50 years of Imami, commemorating five decades of delivering happiness to consumers across the globe, I am happy to announce that this milestone year has begun on a positive note. Marked by sequential improvement in demand trends, and fructification of our strategic initiatives. Our resilience and innovative spirit has been the cornerstone of our success, driving us to achieve commendable performance and setting the stage for a bright and prosperous future. Rural demand showed gradual improvement with bright green shoots emerging. As you are aware that the country experienced its hottest summer in 14 years, leading to robust demand for summer products. Discretionary consumption was, however, impacted due to increasing food prices and muted consumer confidence. In this context, the company achieved comfortable profitability driven by volume growth. Our consolidated revenue at 906 crores grew by 10% over the previous year. The domestic business saw an 8.7% growth in volume terms and a 10% growth in value led by our summer portfolio. Navratna and Dharmikul grew by 27%, while our healthcare range grew by 11%. Seven in one grew by 9%, Boro Plus grew by 4%. Additionally, the man company and Brillair continue to perform well, growing by 23%. The pain management ra range faced headwinds declining by 7% due to heat waves. But sales have begun to pick up since June. While the slowdown in discretionary consumptions continue to impact our male grooming and case king range, which declined by 5% and 15% respectively. We are implementing various strategic initiatives to revitalize these portfolios and restore the restore their growth trajectory in the coming quarters. During the quarter, we launched the first quickly hit powder for women, Dermicool Her and Dermicool Soap with superior cooling effects in the modern trade and e-commerce channel to leverage the brand equity of Dermicool. Additionally, we also introduced various digital first products under Case King and Jandu Care portal. Organized channels continue to perform well. The modern trade growing by an impressive 25% and e-commerce surging by 29%, both contributing 11% to our domestic business. Our institutional business also grew strongly by 23%, and general trade also returned to positive territory. International business grew by 11% in constant currency terms and by 10% in INR terms, led by MENA and SARC regions. Despite facing currency depreciation in Bangladesh and macro issues impacting the CIS performance, we achieved double-digit growth 
led by key brands such as Navratna, Creme 21, Seven Oils in One, and KSK. From the financial performance perspective, our gross margin at 67.7% grew by 230 basis points. EBITDA at 216 crores grew by 14%, despite a 21% increase in ANP spends, with EBITDA margins increasing by 90 basis points. On profit before tax at 178 crores surged by 19%, with margins expanding by 160 basis points, and profit after tax at 153 crores also grew by 11%. <clears throat> we remain committed to our aspiration of delivering sustainable and profitable volume-led growth. We continue to focus on our strategy to improve our distribution reach, invest aggressively in our key brands, and drive market share growth across our portfolio. With the forecast of a normal monsoon and the government's continued focus on macroeconomic growth, we expect the improvement of further accelerate to further accelerate in the coming months. Thank you for your continued support and confidence in our company. We look forward to a promising year ahead. Thank you. Now we open the floor for Q&A. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on their touch tone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. The first question is from the line of Avnish Rai from Nuwama. Please go ahead. Yeah, congrats on a good set of numbers. My first question is on healthcare and gender care. Uh, so, a good 11% growth in healthcare overall. Uh, with uh, uh, La Nina effect uh, this time, uh, which uh, means generally a harsh winter, uh, would you be uh, ex extra aggressive in terms of uh, the inventory build-up? And uh, in terms of gender care, if you could tell us uh, what is the right to win here? Uh, you have done well. It seems a good double-date growth in Q1 in gender care. Uh, those five products which have been launched, for example, in the digital first, uh, what is the competition here? How is your pricing versus the other large players? And what is the right to win here? Because digitally, many companies are launching. But ultimately, uh, how do you get a good market share here? Will it be more of pricing-led only? If you could elaborate on the strategy. Yeah. Uh, so, Bulraj is here. Bulraj will take that question. Uh, yes, thank you for uh, you know the very pertinent questions you raised. Uh, I think, and thanks for you know uh, your compliments on the growth. Uh, I think from a gender care perspective, uh, to answer the two, three questions you raised, uh, you, as you are aware, uh, the focus is on uh, the online phase, whether it is through gender care as a D2C platform or through you know, the other e-com platforms such as Amazon, Flipkart, et cetera, and then the e-pharmacy change. And we were also launching uh, many of these products in the modern trade space. So our pricing, obviously, compared to the regular products which are available in the GT space, is at a premium. But it's more or less in line with some of our major competitors. So it's not that we are overpriced compared to competition. Secondly, what is our right to win? One is the Jandu branding itself. You know, uh, in the Ayurvedic space, Jandu uh, would be among the top, uh, you know, leading players in terms of the consumer perception, consumer equity, brand equity. And thirdly. Uh, the kind of product development capabilities we have from an R&D perspective would be unmatched. And the fact that we had two WHO GNP manufacturing units, WHO GNP certification is very difficult to obtain. We are probably the only player who has got two manufacturing units uh, in the country. So from a product quality perspective, from a product efficacy perspective, finally we are in the healthcare space, so we have to deliver on the efficacy. So from all that perspective, whether it is the pricing, the marketing strategy, the product uh, quality, the product efficacy, I think we have a right to win. 
on each and every product which you and uh, which one is the uh, more uh, sorry just to add uh, we are the first mover advantage we uh, not many companies have their own platform uh, we had launched just post covid and we are seeing good traction from jandu care now we have robust data you know in the last 2 to 1 and a half years since we have launched so we are also uh, you know reached out to lakhs and lakhs of consumers you know so uh, though it is in the initial phase but uh, in terms of uh, uh, advertising in terms of you know spends on healthcare is going to be significantly high compared to the uh, ccd so it will you see a double digit growth uh, going forward in the healthcare understood uh, my second question is on the category which uh, was uh, the most challenging this time so cash king uh, minus 15% yoy if i see the largest uh, market share in hair oils they have also been struggling in value added hair oil for many years now and uh, cash king is also in the premium so where is the customer going is he uh, just uh, down trading what will be uh, your sense of growth for the other key player uh, uh, because uh, they uh, they have also been advertising a lot and when i compare this with the 9% growth in the seven oils in one i understand it will be on a smaller base how do you explain in one 9% growth and in, in the more premium uh, 15% decline so avnish uh, cash king has a pattern in some quarters it comes to growth in some quarters it declines uh, depending on the consumer promotions and trade promotions that we offer over you will you will not see such kind of a decline go going, going forward this quarter hopefully we will get to growth numbers so uh, year end yes i agree that uh, it is in the range of about 3 to 4% decline for that of course we are setting up a strategy you know uh, uh, through bcg uh, but uh, i'm not very concerned that uh, you know that 15% decline would continue for uh, surely it should not be the decline Uh, yes overall the market for hair oil particularly the premium hair fall segment hair oil market is on a decline uh, for quite some time now uh, so that we will have to see when the consumer bounces back uh, i'm not very sure but rural as the rural market is picking up uh, we are seeing some green shoots hopefully it should come to positive trend mm-hmm. uh one last follow up and that will be my last question so when you say that uh, your promotions are very quarter specific and that's how growth is could you comment on uh, the competitive intensity also uh, and why uh, promotions are so uh, volatile is it in more push strategy which is working currently and for casting uh, uh, will it be like the company average 50% from rural 50% from urban or more uh, urban salient the so case king is more rural salient avnish uh, and this has been the trend in the past also the nothing that we have changed you know so depending on the consumer promotions uh, the the market behaves like that so in a year we do two promotions and whenever we do promotions the sales picks up and competition competition intensity uh, uh, honestly has come down a bit in this segment we have uh, uh, particularly indu lekha and uh, patanjali is our main competitor there we are seeing uh, intensity coming down okay okay understood that's all for my side thank you thank you very much the next question is from the line of avish bakshi from sundaram mutual please go ahead uh yeah hi team uh, am i audible yes yes you are so uh so my only question is pertaining to the digital and new age brand portfolio uh while we have seen you know a steady growth across this 20% this quarter can you comment on what would be the size of these brands now uh, also alongside this any comment on the profitability of these brands and lastly uh, any guidance on margin contribution from these brands for overall ebitda Uh, these three broad points if you can shed some light on would be helpful thanks uh, sorry manish can you throw some light 
Overall, if you look at uh, the, our portfolio, e-commerce and uh, modern trade channels have done well over the last uh, few years. And uh, we have also launched some D2C brands. We have also done some strategic investments in D2C portfolio via Helios and uh, Brillet, which have become our subsidiary last one year, one and a half years period of time. So we both margins are lower on uh, these categories because of being a very uh, smaller size compared to to the larger core portfolio, but uh, we see good growth potential and improving margins. So when we acquired, when we did investments in Helios, it was uh, in investment phase, but post that it has been it it, it has started uh, it, it broke even and started making profits. And uh, others like Belair is also into investment phase today because of being a smaller size. But going ahead, we expect margins to improve on these fronts. Uh, and what would be the size of these brands now? Like the the brands which we have launched for our digital portfolio would be uh, around 10 crores kind of size for us. And uh, for uh, okay. the man company and Billier contributed to more than uh, around 5 to 6% kind of revenues for us last year. Sure. And in terms of profitability, sir, I mean, they've been inferior to our core portfolio, but still there are they in terms of EBITDA margin? No, very, very, very small margins. Most of them are uh, into investment phase. As I said, Man Company, which is mm. the bulk of the revenues for this, is, bro- is break even. It is earning some profits, but others are into investment phase. Perfect, perfect, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Overall, overall uh, put, uh, everything put together, it is still negative. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, helpful. Thanks. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Binay Shukla, Philip Capital. Please go ahead. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, one question on demand side. So how was the July month with respect to demand environment side, specifically in the rural market? If you can quantify how was the overall situation during the period? Uh, specific for the July month. July was uh, uh, quite good, uh, Dinesh. Uh, so we will have to uh, wait for another uh, because monsoon is good in most parts of the country. So we are seeing a good demand cycle. Okay. okay. And uh, second question is on tasting side. Although we are taking our initiative to drive the growth, such as we have launched our uh, launch our new products focusing on non oil portfolio and providing uh, continuous media support. And that is reflected in your ENP cost. But uh, what kind of sustainable growth run rate should we expect for next two to three years in case king, given the category headwinds? Uh, as we are reworking on the strategy for cash king, you know, and we have roped in BCG to develop a long-term strategy, uh, we expect to get to the growth uh, at least 5% plus growth on cash gain. Okay. And the PPT, you mentioned that uh, you are focusing on Maharashtra, Bihar, West Bengal. So why are we focusing on only these three states or not in other states? No. These are the primary states. These are the big contributors for cash gain, you know. So okay. we are increasing our focus in these markets. Okay. So one just data point I am looking for. So how is the mix between when I'm comparing with hair oil versus non-hair oil portfolio in case thing? So today, today shampoo would be roughly one third of the overall portfolio. Okay. And last question is on, on the guidance side because in your previous commentary you did mention that you are aspired to grow in double digit to revenue growth in 25 led by 2 to 3 percent price hike and balance gave from the volume growth. So are we still maintaining the same guidance or should we expect some better than what we have highlighted in the past commentary given the improving macro trend and seeing a healthy recovery in the local market? So if we don't give guidance overall, uh, we have to see how the monsoon or the winter performs. Uh, but yes, the momentum is good. The external factors like monsoon, the rural markets are shining. So we will have to wait and see how the markets, uh, how the numbers uh, come out. But we are optimist that yes, we will deliver better than our last numbers, uh, last year numbers. 
ओके इफ यू अलाउ देयर इज वन लास्ट वन क्वेश्चन क्रॉस मार्जिन साइड सो ऑन द विल क्रॉस मार्जिन एक्सपेंशन विल बी लेड बाय द बिनाइन कमोडिटी प्राइसेस और वी आर विटनेसिंग एनी अपटेक इन ऑफ कमोडिटी प्राइसेस एंड जस्ट फॉलो अप ऑन द क्रॉस मार्जिन साइड्स शुड वी आल्सो एक्सपेक्ट सम जीएम इंप्रूवमेंट ड्यू टू द चेंज इन प्रोडक्ट मिक्स Or just data point in terms of uh, product mix, like how is the what percentage of revenue is coming from the premium post view? That's all from my side. So thank you so much. So we have seen expansion of gross margins this quarter, and for the full year as a whole, also we see some benefits on the gross margin front. And uh, it is it is coming from benign raw material prices and also judicious projects, whatever we have taken last year and this year. and uh, some amount of cost uh, rationalization measures also which is there ongoing effort from our side so what is your revenue coming from the premium portfolio sorry which portfolio premium portfolio sir premium portfolio as such we don't uh, define our portfolio within premium and non premium segment as such so if you look at our core portfolio to money is mostly everything is core and uh, for mass market you can say that uh, the strategic investments which we have done in uh, man company and uh, builder are premium ones so which is uh, roughly 5 and 1/2% 6% as i said earlier okay any aspiration to increase or improve our cbn from 0.5 to what percentage in next two to three years so our endeavor would be to focus on our core portfolio as well as the new ventures which we have got into and uh, Uh, growth and larger ones, so it could all depend on the kind of growth trajectory we see for our core as well as the new new areas. So whichever, if everything goes in line, we would be at a kind of a similar uh, uh, revenues would be coming from similar in a similar fashion. But obviously the strategic investments are pretty small today, so going ahead they they have potential to deliver uh, almost double digit kind of a numbers to our top line. So their their proportion should increase. Okay. So one clarification on volume growth: eight point seven percent volume growth is the ex of inorganic business, or it is the including of the NC and builder. So it, there is no inorganic uh, portion in our numbers now. So these strategic investments have become subsidiary for more than a year now. So everything is uh, is in base today. If I exclude the TNC and uh, related volume growth, what would be the uh, adjusted volume growth for the quarter? So, with, without the strategic investments, also our volume growth is over seven percent, kind of. Okay, thank you so much, sir. For the core business, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. The next question is from the line of Harit Kapoor, Investec. Please go ahead. Hi, good evening. Uh, this is Harit here. uh so uh, just a few questions one is uh, you know you mentioned uh, on uh, uh, on the pricing side so you know this quarter pricing is seen to be a tad lower uh, uh just wanted to know uh, do, do we expect incremental pricing actions in the balance part of the year or uh, you know given the commodity environment there is no real need uh, from that perspective so harit uh, yeah this year uh, uh, we will uh, we will not be very aggressive with our price increases mm. okay got it got it and uh, on uh, you know the you know you mentioned in your release as well as in your opening comment the expectation for growth to accelerate uh, this quarter is anyway has been you know quite a good quarter uh, you know 9% volume growth is uh, Close to nine percent volume growth is uh, is a very healthy number, uh, but there definitely has been uh, the help of season. Um, I'm just wondering, you know, uh, you know, if, if, uh, 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 with with uh, season being say neutral on a year-over-year basis for the next say two, three, four quarters, do you still expect that uh, you know uh, uh, the overall demand environment as well as your actions could lead to? Similar to accelerating growth, is, is that the way to think about it? Uh, sorry, that is of course our end goal, and uh, uh, yes, this uh, season uh, we benefited from summer, no doubt. We could have done much better if we would have had uh, uh, enough supplies. So a lot will depend on uh, multiple factors, but uh, let us enjoy what we are having right now. Uh, things are improving at the ground level. 
rural markets are also shining so hopefully we expect anywhere between 5-6% volume, 1-2% uh, you know, value growth. So, as I said, a lot depends on uh, many external factors. It's very, very difficult to really say, you know, uh, what numbers we will achieve. Sure, sure. Fair, fair point. Uh, and uh, a lot, but a lot is happening on uh, distribution, casting strategy, fair and handsome strategy. The brands which are not performing so well, you know, the company is having increased focus on core portfolio. Great, great to hear, great to hear. Advertising, and, uh, advertising budgets have increased significantly over the last two quarters. This quarter also increased by 21%. And going forward, also, we are going to be extremely aggressive, you know, in terms of spends, launches. There's a lot happening, uh, honestly. Yeah. Great, great to hear, sir. Great to hear. Uh, and, uh, you know, just you saying, you know, let's enjoy the good things. I just was wondering, July uh, has uh, uh, been a fairly, uh, you know, from a season perspective, it seems like it would have aided pain management. Uh, um, you know, uh, you know, you had a, a rough June and, you know, I think July from a monsoon perspective has been strong. So uh, is, is, that the, is that a right way to read it, that you should see a fairly, fairly uh, quick turnaround of this one if, if, uh, if, 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 uh, 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 if the coming months are also okay? Yeah, paid portfolio is uh, doing well in July uh, because it's the peak season for paid portfolio. So, um, but we have another two months to go for the quarter. So let's see what how how it pans out to be. Yeah. Great, great. And one last one last uh, you know question was you know you did mention uh, uh, on ground uh, uh, green shoots and things improving. I was wondering uh, uh, you know are you seeing this at an all India level? Uh, this improvement uh, on ground or there are certain markets, certain regions in rural that are doing better than others. Just your uh, uh, your experience of how it's been given your salience is so strong in rural. Yeah. Manish, can you throw some light? Uh, so overall, the uptake is everywhere, but I would especially call out uh, for our business at least, uh, north is a little ahead. Uh, east, we are doing well. West, we are experiencing a lot of expansion of modern trade and hence, uh, you know, kind of uh, channel shifts happening with general trade. And South has been pretty steady, like always. So if I were to call somebody out, I think at least our gains have been more in North. Got it. Got it. Okay, I'll come back to more. Uh, wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Gaurav Jogani from Access Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you for the opportunity, sir. Uh, so my first question is with regards to the tax rate. Uh, if you look at the tax rate this time around, it's 15%. I think last quarter was also around 14% all. And I think we have a guidance of around 10% tax rate for the next two years. So how uh, is there any modification in the tax rate going on? No, I think uh, we have seen some higher tax rate in quarter one, but uh, I, we feel it should moderate down for the remaining part of the year. So for the full full year, 10 to 10 11 percent should be maintainable. And that would be the similar number for the next year as well, sir? Yeah. Okay. And uh, so the next question is with regards to uh, the uh, the man company and the debris layer. You know, while the size are uh, lower, but you know we have also seen the growth rates now coming to around 20 to 25 percent off. So is this a, a you know a seasonal phenomena wherein you know generally these trends continue to grow lesser in these quarters and probably uh, you see higher growth going ahead? Or any any light that you can throw on the growth rates of these two brands particularly? Sorry, may, I, I, it was not very audible. What what was the brand company and billet? So the growth rates now, you know, given that the base is small, that they are growing 20, 25% odd. So my question was whether we will be able to maintain these growth rates or there is there some element of seasonality even in these brands as well. So there is no seasonality in the man company or bill air. Uh, bill air is going faster than the man company because it is smaller. Uh, but put together now they are almost in the tune of 225 crores. This year we expect to reach to about 275 crores. So, which will be almost 8% of our revenues. Uh, 
Yeah, but we hope to grow at about 20-25% in these two products. So, is there a, a just a clarification on this? That, uh, you know, when you say that uh, it's now around 5-6% to 6 of the sales, uh, I'm assuming that this will be the consolidated sales. Yeah, yeah, total sales. Okay, okay. Uh, sure, sir. That's all for me. Thank you. Thank you. Participants who wish to ask questions may please press star and one now. The next question is from the line of Kunal Bora from BNP Parivar. Please go ahead. What percentage of revenue came from summer link portfolio in this quarter and uh, what was the growth in the summer portfolio overall? And uh, what was the growth for the rest of the portfolio? Yeah, yeah. So summer portfolio this this quarter uh, grew by almost 27 percent, which was primarily Navratna and Darmipur. Uh, so and uh, revenue of these portfolio would be have been roughly 50 percent. Half of the revenue came from summer portfolio. So the rest of the portfolio would have like say not grown at all or. Uh, what will be the performance? Uh, I haven't no, done the match. No, no, EP, uh, I think uh, Mohanji mentioned in his opening remarks and also we have shared the presentation where you will see healthcare range have grown by 11% in double digits, Boropress range have grown, but pain management suffered because of the heat waves during the first quarter. And obviously, Case King and Fair and Handsome Male Grooming uh, had, had their own issues this quarter as well. Going ahead, we are taking actions to uh, recover the lost ground. And uh, the other other businesses like uh, the demand company builder have grown strongly. International business have done well. So we have seen uh, categories of businesses which have done well in this quarter, apart from summer, as well as some of the areas where we have been impacted. But if I do the broad math, 50 percent. So the 50 percent, the 50 percent I talked was was for the domestic business. Okay. For comparison, it implies that like uh, the rest of the business almost did not grow because half the portfolio is so, 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 no, no, because because case king declined in double digits, fair and male grooming declined, and also okay. uh, also pain management declined. So overall, you you are right that it was almost flattish growth for the rest of the so portfolio. Case, the rest of uh, for the core portfolio. That case in the coming quarters, uh, as you don't have the benefit of season. Uh, what gives you confidence that you can drive double-digit growth rate in, uh, or like even seven, like five, six percent volume growth, one, two percent value growth, which still implies high single-digit. Uh, so as you don't have that benefit going forward, how do you expect the uh, close to double-digit growth come to come? So, so just wait and watch, uh, Kunal. We uh, we are doing a lot of uh, you know strategic initiatives, uh, and uh, as I said, the wind shoots in the rural markets. And uh, you, uh, July also has done well. So just wait and watch. We are doing a lot of activities. Yeah, yeah. So just to, add, just, to just to add on that, investing on A and P. Yeah. Only to add on that, the pain portfolio which has suffered because of the heat waves in quarter one, we will, we expect good recovery in pain portfolio going ahead. Winter should be uh, we have a favorable base which would help us. And as Mohanji said, a lot of initiatives are being taken on the male grooming and case king, which, uh, through which we should be able to arrest the degrowth and some growth should also happen on those fronts also. Understood. Thank you. And second and last one is uh, on case king hair oil. Uh, what's the size now uh, in terms of revenues? Uh, and like, how has it done since the acquisition? What kind of gear have you seen in terms of hair oil? I'm not talking about uh, the shampoos and other extensions which you've done, but... Uh, the case king, how is it done? So overall, overall case king portfolio is over 300 crores kind of a size. And when we acquired it was 230 odd crores kind of a size. Okay. But you did mention that one third is coming from shampoo. So yeah. hair oil, since so, acquisition has not grown at all? So shampoo was there earlier also, but with a lower share. So during that time also some bit of shampoo was there. So hair oil, obviously, yes, uh, for last uh, couple of quarters, we are facing challenges. So it has uh, begun for last couple of quarters. So it has taken off. But but uh, shampoo, we are uh, 
pretty much excited and uh, which which we are focusing as a new brand itself only and uh, that is showing encouraging response so overall portfolio still looks uh, interesting to us as mohan ji said with uh, we are taking strategic initiatives and look forward to at least uh, mid single digit kind of a growth going ahead and that's it that's all from my side thank you very much thank you Before we take the next question, we would like to remind participants that you may press star and one to ask a question. The next question is from the line of Harith Kapoor from Invest Tech. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, thanks for taking uh, the question. I I just had one follow up. Rajesh, uh, could you just help me understand the uh, amortization schedule uh, for this year and going forward? Yeah, sure, Harith. So. So this year amortization would be roughly uh, 92 odd crores kind of, and uh, going ahead uh, it would be 88 crores, 75 crores for next two years. Got it. That is my question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. The next question is from the line of Soham Samanta from Century Broking. Please go ahead. Yeah, I thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. So, uh, just wanted to check one thing in in P, uh, like this quarter we have done almost thirty point three percent. So, uh, what will be the expected range for this year? So, normally we have seen last six seven years we have been maintaining eighteen seventeen to eighteen percent, but will we go uh, more than that? Like twenty percent range will be there in this quarter, this year? On advertisement, we are talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A and B. Yeah. Well, if you look at uh, our advertisement pattern, it is uh, slightly higher in, in quarter one. So for the full year, we we should be able to manage within that range. Right, fifty basis point to hundred basis points can always increase depending on the need. Okay. Uh, so in that case, uh, we will expect that our margin level it will be uh, around twenty six to twenty seven percent. It will be in that range. So, if you look at our uh, numbers for this quarter, also we have gained on the gross margin front, and we expect some gains for the full year as well. So, we should be we should be able to uh, increase some bit of margins, a bit of margins also for the full year despite higher advertisements. Okay. Then, second part in number that like this quarter we have done twenty seven percent growth. So, do we expect uh, for full year like the season is gone right now? But do we expect for a full year? Can we expect a lower double-digit growth in this uh, particular plan? No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. Okay, okay. And then, uh, like uh, as you mentioned, that this uh, case king and uh, male grooming both are working under BCG and all. So, like for case king, as you have guided for four to five percent, like mid single-digit growth. So do you expect the similar kind of growth we can uh, get from male grooming range as well for a full year? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. Obviously. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. So we should expect a higher growth coming from male grooming. Uh, okay. Uh, once if the strategy is in place, uh, it will take uh, one more quarter for the strategy to be pulled out. Then we will have to wait for the results. Okay. Okay. And for the last question from my side, like the project codes, uh, as we have already completed the project, and uh, so what are the benefits now we are getting? Uh, if you can ex explain, I think you can take uh, this question offline. This is a long, uh, long question. You can always talk to Rajesh and discuss it with Manish. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's all. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Nilay Shah from Moon Capital. Please go ahead. Um, so I just want to delve a little bit into this growth aspiration, and a lot of things were discussed on the call about how rural is doing very well for you, uh, Jandu and the pain management uh, part doing very well in uh, July, impacted by seasonality uh, last quarter. And then you spoke about how Man uh, Company and Rilad is also doing. Um, you know the in, you know the growth in the um, uh, in the digital uh, portfolio is also very strong. We've had weak uh, winter sales last two years. Monsoon has been good. 
with all these factors in place, you still sound a little bit conservative, if I can say so, on the revenue aspirations for the financial year. What is it that you are looking for to fall in place uh, to get more constructive? Well, yes, uh, this is only through our experience in the past. You know, uh, we can always sound very robust, but there are a lot of external factors, you know, which come into play. There are the government initiatives. Monsoon has been good this month, but we don't know how the monsoons in some parts of the country, the monsoons are extremely weak. In the eastern parts of the country, the monsoons are very, very weak. So we are a pan-India play. You know, at times we have seen uh, markets suddenly going up and down. Uh, so uh, it's not just that we sound optimistic and at the end of the year we say no, then we could not deliver. That's not the way we look at things. So uh, yes, there are some uh, clear uh, areas which is uh, you know digital front on e-commerce, modern trade. Like uh, this month, Bangladesh has been a disaster in the international business. So you know there are some forcing circumstances which just keep on coming in. So how do you really guide on numbers? Okay. Uh -huh. So uh, uh, let us let us just wait as the things go by. Uh, if things improve, you will all come to know. Got it, sir. This makes sense. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. The next question is from the coordinator, Mr. Percy. Please go ahead. Uh, hi, sir. Uh, can you just give us your thoughts on uh, how you think about uh, inorganic growth in terms of what are the areas uh, that you would want to look at, uh, what kind of uh, synergies uh, uh, would you sort of expect, uh, what you bring to the table, uh, what is the rough size over three, four years that you would be looking at, and so on. I mean, a general thoughts on inorganic growth, please. You don't discuss an inorganic growth on a con call. No, sir, not asking about any specific targets. The overall thought process, how open you are to it, and if at all, in which areas you would be looking at, and so on. Oh, of course, we are open for inorganic growth. Uh, you have seen uh, we have done Bermicool, we have done uh, so many strategic investments in man company, drill air. There are few more that we are looking for. So there is no doubt that we keep on looking for inorganic opportunities. We have a strong balance sheet, uh, you know, look for inorganic opportunities. Understood, understood. Uh, and this also, is part of our long-term strategy. Inorganic is part of our long-term strategy. Correct, correct. And this would be largely in India, or would you look at international also uh, as far as inorganic is concerned? The first choice is India. Uh, no doubt, but if we get some inorganic opportunities outside of India, but very specific markets, then we will look outside India. And uh, uh, how would you look at, I mean, uh, which areas to uh, sort of prefer? Is it that you would look at inorganic in order to give you an entry into certain categories which you are not there, or would you prefer to consolidate market share within current categories? The inorganic is a broad strategy, per se. Again, as I said, I can't discuss inorganic strategy on a con call. Or we don't discuss sure. inorganic strategy. Sure, understood, understood. Uh, I just wanted to uh, understand on uh, uh, the uh, weak parts of the business, uh, which is the male grooming and uh, uh, the cash king, you mentioned that uh, uh, you would uh, uh, sort of uh, look at uh, strengthening those aspects. Uh, again, I know uh, you cannot talk before uh, some things actually happen, but is it more in the line of uh, diversification of the product portfolio or is it more in terms of uh, 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 rejigging uh, and getting the core uh, uh, products uh, growth uh, up first? It will be a mix, uh, Percy. There would be a lot of new uh, line extensions in both the portfolios both in Case King and uh, Fair and Handsome. Uh, the strategy, we are working on it. Of course, we are very unhappy with the numbers of Case King and Fair and Handsome. The brand teams are robustly working on the long-term strategy for both the brands. 
as i said this month uh, this quarter was uh, one off uh, for cash king we would see growth bouncing back in this quarter same for fair and handsome uh, you would not see these kind of declines in both the categories understood that's all from me uh, you can go ahead with the question q dipika thank you so much the next question is from the line of vinay shukla from philip capital please go ahead yeah thanks for the follow up question uh, one question on the oral care segment uh, uh, we have launched um, jantu dantvir in natural segment a couple of quarter back so have we rolled out this product to gt channel or is it still on organized trade channel and uh, is your comment on how the traction so far on the jantu dantvir side uh congrats yes i launched that so uh, yes as you said we launched it uh, Uh, two three months back, uh, the physical rollout happened about uh, two months back, and uh, we have been giving marketing inputs, and other trade marketing support. So we started to see, you know, the response, but we are still in a stage of, you know, testing the waters here between e-com and between modern trade. Uh, you know, as you know, this category has a certain usage timeline at in home. so what is important is to see what the repeat charge and how many people or what percent of people do purchase and what is the rank of we get so uh, it will probably take us a few more months to know and understand what the real response is uh, so at the moment we plan to support uh, the launch by way of uh, inputs in in the econ and modern trade channel we probably take uh, some more time to decide on the further extension into the retail market but the overall uh, feedback seems to be good whatever you know initial input we got from consumers and the traders so we are still in the process of uh, we had launched it in a couple of states here in the process of rolling it out into other states in modern trade and this is so how the toothpaste category grow during the quarter if you can give any a broad cut range in percentage uh, term we don't have specific we don't subscribe to nielsen etc but my sensing is it could be in the region of around 10% for the category growth so overall not the natural category you're talking about yeah that's right overall a last question is on the, on the dermicool uh, uh, are we plan to leverage our dermicool brand via uh, enter into the adjacent category like we are doing for tasting We launched the Dermicool soap this quarter. Okay, understood. Sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. To ask a question, please press star and one now. Ladies and gentlemen, as there are no further questions from the participants, I now hand the conference over to the management for closing comments. Thank, thank you, everyone, for joining us for today uh, today's call on quarter one results of Imami. Thank you, IFL, for arranging this call. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of IIFL Securities Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us, and you may now disconnect your line.